Boy, it's your boy Odin here. Um, from the future. I recorded this video back in the days as Makeup Monsters was transitioning between Makeup Monsters and Feral or Menagerie Cosmetics. But I still wanted to do this video and upload it because um, while they said that they're going to discontinue the Dragon Child palette, they still said they are going to have all of the colors in that palette as singles. And I also wanted to kind of bring this brand up a little bit because it's an indie brand and the formulations are really nice. So it needs a little bit of love. Um, and it's also a brand that does pretty well with my hooded eyes. So that's rare for me, especially in indie brands. So that's why I'm posting this now. So anyway, Back to the past! Woohoo! I was feeling really lazy today, and I was just gonna focus on the eyes, and then I looked at it, and I was like, well, shit, that looks really dramatic. I think I need some highlight. Ten minutes later, I fell in and ended up like a frosted prince. I'm not mad at it! Greetings! Today I have for you a makeup -y review that I've had in my stash for the longest time, and I've just finally have started to get the opportunity to get to it. I am talking about the Dragon Child palette from what used to be Makeup Monsters, is now Menagerie, I believe. Um, this is their very first eyeshadow palette. They're usually known for lipsticks and such. So while they were rebranding, they put all their old stock on ridiculous clearance. Um, so I got this. This is normally like $42. I got it for $35, which isn't a huge deal. But I still figured I wanted the lipsticks anyway, and they had their lipsticks for buy one, get one free, so I had to grab. So by the time I got there, their uh, selection was pretty slim, but I got a lot of the greens that I wanted, uh, and another color that I wanted to try, but I'll get more onto this. I can show you the packaging, but it's probably not going to be the same. It's a really nice frosted tube with their logo and a bunch of roses and thorns. It's probably going to be different with their um, new brand. They have a second brand, uh, second palette when they were launched their new brand called Feral, which is really pretty. Uh, a lot of greens and pinks in there, so I kind of want to get that one too, but one of these days. But this one is very fantastic with the hollow and the dragon scales, and then we pop open the colors. Look at those colors. They're so beautiful, and then it's got some very lovely art on the side panel up here. No mirror, but you know what? I'm not mad because this mart is freaking gorgeous. So on to my impressions. Very nice. It's a pretty damn good palette, just an overall too long didn't read. But getting into details, I have my notes. So just kind of go over. The formula is really nice. Most of them are mattes. You get two shimmers, which is this iridescent golden pink, and then you get a true gold here, yellow gold. Uh, everything else is matte. And I was really curious to try because a lot of matte formulas do weird things with my eye bags and my sags and my creases and my crevices. And I am happy to report that, that these perform really nicely. They do, like, I mean, obviously when you have wrinkles in your eyes, they do, like, cover them and they do kind of show them. They're not, they don't emphasize them. They do kind of contour with them, if that makes any sense. It doesn't really, like, emphasize. It just kind of glides over, but it still shows that you do have wrinkles. So if you have any sort of, like, primers that will smooth those out, that'll be helpful. But this really is performs pretty damn good on my hooded flappy lids. So I'm very, very happy with that. Um, the formula is a bit stiffer and firmer, and it does tend to do a lot of powdery kickback things. Not, man not unmanageable, but something definitely to be aware of. So be careful, they're very kind of delicate, um, but they, they're they just super blendable. I have three colors in my eye look for here. I have three of the blues, well, the blue-green, and I just love this color combination. So I'll show you off some swatches as I keep ranting and rambling about this, but in terms of colorations, this is very a very great bold color palette. Um, I can make looks on it because I'm the type of person that plays with a lot of colors. If you are into the more neutral things and likes to have a pop of color, this is still a very nice one to pick up to complement your neutral palettes. But I love it. I like playing with it. It lasts pretty damn long. And I am really, really excited to try out their new, new palette because this is fantastic. 
and they do formulate it themselves in-house, so they were working on this for a long time. They were crowdfunding it, really want to try new looks with it, because it's got like a very cool tone, but there's two warms, you can go warm with it. Um, it's just, I'm, I'm kind of inspired by it, because you don't right away find combinations. Like, it takes a little bit of thinking to figure out, ooh, what could go with this, and then as you, like, analyze and go through the palette, you're like, ooh, that could go with that, that can go with that, I can do something with that, and it's just really fun to play around with and experiment. So I'd probably call this, like, an intermediate-level palette, people who are wanting to play more. But I will now show you a few looks, including this one, what I did with this palette. I think I put up three designs, maybe? I can't remember. I filmed this in so many chunks. But anyway, here we go. Now on to the lipsticks. I am very pleased with them. They are mostly mattes. I think they have some metallics on there. I'll put the link to the website down below so you can check it out for yourself. Um, they are opaque as fuck. Like, these, this just came in one swipe. It was great. It's a rather thin formula, so it does a l run a little bit, but it does dry quickly. So if you're good with a brush and just kind of make slow, longer strokes, you should be okay with it. 
Um, definitely try not to move for the few st first few seconds to a minute to keep it dry and things like that. Um, the formula is pretty good. I do have... I don't know what's going on. I had a problem with jealousy because what happened is as soon as this one dried, I was testing the transfer proofness of this, and this one crumbled right off as if... Let me see if I can demonstrate yet. So I'm going in with one color, one coat there. I'm going to rant a little bit about it while I um, wait for that to dry. Um, but the rest of the ones I found transproof that I can rub off, there's a little bit of a residue coming off on that, so not completely transfer proof, but they're a little sticky, but not uncomfortable. These lips don't like dry it out and suck it out like a desert or like crusty butthole lips. These are pretty comfortable, but if you are bothered by tackiness, you might not be bothered by this, but it's not... I've, I've had worse. Like a lot of the liquid suede from NYX, those are pretty bad, but this one's kind of just like... I'm not distracted by the tackiness when I'm talking, so... So they're not exactly transfer-proof, but I would call them long-lasting, because, yeah, they don't really, like... You can do a little bit of play with them, but they are going to get messy if you do some... <clears throat> um, adulting. Um, and a drink will probably... Well, let's test out the drinkness for a minute. Mm hmm I don't see that much residue on a drink, so your food might be safe unless you have, like, a really oily sandwich or something. So they're not bulletproof, which is nice to a point because at the end of the day, you really don't want to fight to take this off. So I will show you some swatches. I got Jealousy, which is a true green, kind of emeraldy green. I have what I'm wearing right now, which is Backlash. It's like a um, teal green. I had G.I. Jane, which is a army green, which I don't have in my collection, and I'm very thrilled to have. And finally, I got Deserter, which isn't really my color, per se. Um, I just got it because it was really... I, I bought three of the colors that I wanted, and to get the buy one, get one, I had to get, like, one more free just to chuck something in. So this was the um, one that I picked, and eh, I'm not, I'm not... I don't do the Coralies very well. Um, now that this one is mostly dry, you can kind of see how it just kind of crumbles, and it's just really... Eh. I don't know how I feel about that coming off, but... Other formulas like this... You can kind of see it stayed put, so I'm kind of concerned about this one, but just don't do a lot of roughhousing with this one, I guess. So it's still a really pretty color, and I'm going to use it. But other than that, that's pretty much all I have to say about this. They wear really well. They're just very beautiful colors. They are very opaque as fuck. Uh, they blend beautifully. So I'm looking forward to more products from this brand, and I really want to get the Feral palette as well. So uh, let me know what you think. If you have these products as well, let me know in the comments down below what you think of them. But this is just a really fun really cool brand, and if you're into supporting indie, I'll leave links down below to check out this one, because it's very, very cool. So, I think that will do it for me. Be sure to like up this video and subscribe if you want to see more bullshit from me. Check out my other shenanigans right here on YouTube. I do a lot of things to humiliate myself on the internet. And if you want to support the channel and get in exclusive tutorials on jewelry and beading, be sure to check out my Patreon for monthly exclusive tutorials that are not posted here on YouTube. And even if you're not into the tutorials and you want to be like, Hey Odin, you're doing cool shit, check it out below and see if you can support me that way, because this helps me bring more interesting things to you. And of course, check out my sci-fi blog. I've been ranting and raving a lot about things lately, so all pertinent links will be down below. Thank y'all so much for joining me, and of course, if there's anything I need to be trying out right now, Feel free to let me know down below, and I will see you next time.